Welcome back, 0K okay fans. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match. And this time, once again, we have Flipstep and Snuggle Base. This match, I'm pretty sure, was played just after the last one, so I'll keep the win counter up. And now they're on Badlands. So the last match in Icy Shell was basically Snuggle Base going for a rush and not managing to have it work out. In this match, we'll see Badlands is not the most rush friendly map. It's small, but those hills in the center, those cliffs, they allow for some defenses. I mean, on the one hand, they allow for defenses. On the other hand, because of their distance from the main base, it can be difficult to set up there quickly. So if a rush comes out right out of the gate, it might do the trick, but it looks like that is not happening at all. Both Snuggle Base and Flipstep, starting with Workers. I want to get that reclaim early on. Yeah, this map actually, you start out with, well, 100 metal. Actually, if you start your entire side, start with 350 metal in your base of rocks to reclaim. Now, Flipstip is going for that. Snuggle Base, however, is not. They're focusing entirely on just building static economy, which means Flipstep gets the economic lead right out of the gate. Granted, they're going for Pyro, so they kind of need it. On the other hand, three Glaives out already. Well, actually, 325 metal worth of Glaives, so that Pyro should be up fairly soon now. 320 metal for the Pyro. So right now, pretty much a full army of Glaives has been built, or not army, but full opening assault force of Glaives has been built for Snuggle Base. Going for a scout with that glaive there, keeping a couple on defense. Those two on defense are probably not gonna, uh, is that gonna be enough. Three on defense against one pyro, that might work. It really will come down to micro at that point. Of course, they don't know the fact that jump bots are being used. Once they do, they'll probably switch to Zeus because that's kind of what you do. And this map is small enough that Zeus can get around and not be too punished for being slow. But it's just Zeus is what you do. Zeus beats pyro, simple as that. Although, Moderator beats Zeus, so that we might see more Glaives coming out instead. Because, if you remember last week, I did a match between Google Frog and Aquanum, where Aquanum stayed Glaives the entire time because they didn't want to provoke Moderators. And so they stuck with Glaives and they tried to use that, and Glaive Tick worked fairly well, but required a lot of attention. It required Radar, which I don't believe Snuggle Base even has at all. No, in fact, neither- no, never mind. Flipstep has Radar for their little section of the map. Their little pocket has Radar, Snuggle Base has none. And Snuggle Base on the other end, going for this right away. Are they going to build Radar here? Yeah, nope, Defender. Not Radar at all, no Radar whatsoever. Flipstep is continuing to build with their economy. Are they going to go for Radar too? I don't see any. Nope, none for them either. So neither player is going for, well, going for Front Radar. But Snuggle Base, at this point, I don't think they're going to be able to hold this. The Defender coming up, the first Pyro... Okay, now it's revealed itself. That Defender may not have been the best idea because now... Snuggle Base has revealed they're trying to go for this side of the map. And all they're trying to do is defend at the bottom right corner, expecting Flipstep to go there correctly. But now they have to work much harder to defend the top left side, because that is going to be the prime raiding candidate. If Flipstep doesn't know where to attack, because they don't necessarily want to attack the main base right out of the gate. That's usually a bad idea. So if they're going to attack a side base, then they know the northwest is what's being used. Oh, did those Glaives walk into the Pyro Corpse? Never a good idea. And it looks like, indeed, Snuggle Base is going for pure Glaive. Does not want to provoke moderators, or at least wants to be able to deal with them should they come up. And, yeah, placeholder moderator coming up. Flipstep, I'm not sure if they're playing on autopilot, or they just expect that the placeholder will do the trick against Glaives. But yeah, I think they're expecting Flipstep... Oh, sorry, Flipstep, I think, is expecting Snuggle Base to go for Zeus now that they've seen Pyros. And they're not. Snuggle Base is going for Glaives. That's kind of the meta now. No one really wants to deal with moderators with Zeus. They'll just use Glaives instead. You have to out-micro the Pyros, which is a little annoying, but at least the Mod Raiders are nowhere near as big of an issue. And the commander... Whose commander's getting attacked? Oh, I see. Flipstep, yeah. So Snuggle Base now aware that Flipstep is, is expanding to the southeast. Flipstep well aware that Snuggle Base is trying to expand in the northwest. Snuggle Base, three defenders against a light force? Yeah, that should work. I guess like one, maybe two Pyros. That should do the trick. Maybe two. Actually, not even two. One Pyro. Snuggle Base's commander being the only other thing in the way, and Snuggle Base is using heavy machine gun. Against Pyro, that... I would recommend Beam Laser, personally. I would think that would work best, but... Heavy machine guns, what Snuggle Base went for. And Flipstep doing Defender Wars and winning Defender Wars, in fact. So Flipstep can now put... If they have more than one Pyro going in the Northwest, they will be able to go through that no problem. Three or four and the commander's dead, too. But they aren't worried about it. They're worried about defense. Snuggle Base is successfully putting enough pressure on Flipstep that Flipstep doesn't want to really think about the Northwest. Trying to make sure that the Southeast remains safe. The Snuggle Base is at least managing to get away with this, if for no other reason than they're being very aggressive. 
and that can work sometimes. It's risky though, because of course you don't want to give your opponents metal, but it can work. Nunga Base also using an opportunity to build up their main base, which they hadn't yet. Flipstip has fully built up their main base. They're actually pretty focused on that, but Snuggle Base, they're much more focused on the northwest expansion and just generally the north side. But as it stands, Snuggle Base is still slightly ahead in economy. I mean, Reclaim is kind of making a margin of error, but still. So a dozen Glaives against... Okay, so we're doing a three Pyros, a Placeholder, and how many Moderators so far? Two Moderators. So that's two Glaives dead, but out of 14 Glaives... 15 Glaives... That's hardly anything. Of course, this pyro... Oh, if it jumps in right now, it's going to be so perfect. Is Snuggle Waste paying attention? No, Snuggle Waste is... Okay, just barely paying attention. Gets out of the way. Moves those glaives out because that would have been extremely dangerous if Snuggle Waste did not react to that. That would have been all those glaives toast. Now it was just three. Still, that's quite a few. Now, that's the thing with... The Cloaky Jump Up matchup is tricky because essentially every fight, the Cloaky, the Cloaky Factory loses pretty much all of their armies that they happen to have there. Like the pyros burn up everything, especially when they walk through the corpse like that. Pyro corpses burn. And then of course you have the Yeah, the moderators, which are a pain in the butt. Like each moderator shot is basically a dead glaive. And even against Zeus, moderators essentially counter Zeus, so that's hard. But that placeholder is having a bit of a tough time. The glaives are nicely separated. Although Snuggle Base not paying attention and allowing the glaives to walk into the black hole. Also, point moving there for some reason. Why are they being point moved? Against pyros, of all things. But yeah, the moderators aren't a problem once the glaives get to them. That's the thing. The pyros are the main issue. And that's why moderators... That's why Zeus is kind of not really the meta anymore. Or it doesn't seem to be. But glaives are kind of the meta because moderators just... They just die. Like, glaives just... They, it's the standard triangle. Faders kill skirmishers. That's how it works. It's not always that straightforward because numbers do matter. But in this particular case, two moderators is not enough. So at the moment, Snuggle Base and Flipstip are relatively even. Armies neck and neck, economy neck and neck, Flipstip a little bit more defensive. And Snuggle Base focused almost all their defense over in the northwest. That's all they really care about, and even then they have very little. Like, one defender on the hill, that's nothing. A single pirate will tear that apart. And down goes that placeholder, not bad. So there's two placeholders, okay, another placeholder is up though. The yeah, placeholder moderator combo is not working out too well. Firewalker is on the way, has been queued up, but won't be here for another minute or so, and I don't know if that'll be enough time. From the looks of it, Snuggle Base should be able to tear apart quite a lot. Okay, let's see what defenses are here. There's a Lotus, there's two Lotuses, so these defenders are gonna have a, or sorry, these defending units are gonna have a bit of an easier time thanks to the Lotuses, but even then, I mean, don't go for the Lotus, don't go for the main base, don't go for the factory yet. Go for everything else. Go for the solar, the solar collector, go for whatever metal extractors you can. Getting rid of defense is probably not the best idea, but at least the units are not as close. Okay, that's close enough. Flipstip will reclaim that. Snuggle Waste, however, is actually reclaiming that, which is good to see. Snuggle Waste needs to do that. That's exactly right. And Flipstip, getting a gunship switch over in the southeast side of the map, probably going to go for rapiers. Those things one-shot glaze. And Snuggle Waste is confident they can take this out. They should be able to take out the caretaker. They get rid of the Lotus. Actually, they get rid of the Lotus and the Pyro. That's... I think that's game. I mean, the disruptor beam from their moderator is a problem, but yeah, if they can get rid of that pyro. Actually, they don't even apparently need to. That's not something they care about. That firewalk, I mean, the placeholder is not going to get up. The factory's dead. The factory burst, however, gets rid of all of the glaives. Snuggle Base did not quite pay, quite pay attention to that. We know that Snuggle Base is concerned when it comes to getting away from explosions. I don't think they thought about the factory. Or they had moved their attention elsewhere, but yeah, that was not the best timing. Still, they have a lot of glaives. They're actually behind economically. <laughs> But mostly because of Reclaim, but still, they're actually... Is it because of Reclaim? No, it's because of Overdrive! Yeah, these are actually being overdriven quite a lot. Snuggle Base, we've noticed, both this game and the last game, they don't really like going for Geoplants, or don't seem to think of it. Because Flipstep went for the Geoplant in their base on the Icy Shell game, and Snuggle Base did not. And Snuggle Base actually started right next to the Geoplant, too. This is the same thing with the northwest side of the map. There's no Geoplant there. I don't know what, what's going on, why Snuggle Base is not going for the Geoplants. I mean, that would help. Snuggle Base's energy is not doing too great. It's only slightly above their metal. Any reclaim will start to cause an e-stall. As it is, they're almost... they're stalling. But yeah, reclaim cannot really be used right now. Not that I don't think Snuggle Base cares, because at this point, all they have to do is tear apart the energy... I mean, okay, this energy economy doesn't matter that much. The, for what Flipstip has, everything here is enough. That's 30 energy right here. Flipstip can survive off that. 
as it stands, so I don't think Snuggle Base... Why are they not going for the southeast? They know it exists. They knew it existed from the start. They saw the commander go there. They had their scout get picked off. And they... Do they have radar? They don't have radar coverage of that area. Flipstep does have radar coverage of incoming units, though, so Flipstep wouldn't know if this... Wait, is this a radar module? Yeah, it is. Their commander has radar. And now for the counterattack, I don't see Flipstep winning out of this. I really don't. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe there's a way... Why is there... It, defense is negative. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I don't see them winning off of this. But I do see them being a bit of a pain in the butt before they lose. Because at this point... I mean, right now, actually, you see all the glaives are moving away from this base. Snuggle Base's commander is moving into position, though. So that's that's what they need to have happen. Because I was about to say, if that is open, Flipstep could rebuild. But Flipstep is not going to do so. I don't see any cranes. I don't see any... Yeah, I see nothing but... Oh, sorry, there's one crane. Going for a shield bot factory. Getting another thing on the ground. Flips his commander. About to go down, though. So that will... That'll be a damper in their economy. It's a quarter of their economy gone right there. Didn't avoid the burst, though. A lot of dead glaives. But even... Actually, the rapiers are still being a pain in the butt. Yeah, okay. Snuggle base realizes... Oh, wait a sec. I've just lost my entire army. And now lost my cloaky bot factory. Wow. Flips have actually managed to make a credible threat. Sheesh. Wow. What I said before, I might be mistaken. If Flipstep plays their reclaim right, they actually might be able to get back out of this. This is surprising. I mean, Snuggle Base is building over their base pretty quick. But there is still a good two or three minutes, I think, before Flipstep becomes completely incapable of winning. They just need to rate... They need to be very attentive. They need to be... These rapiers need to go around killing everything. And Floris made a terrible pun, because Flipstep, he just flipped the game. Yeah, that, that was terrible. That was Floris' pun, not mine. Speaking of which... Sorry that there was no tournament today. I... It wasn't organized. I, don't, I think it's Lottery who does the 2v2. But I don't know. I, I heard rumors about it coming next week. It's, they don't... No one ever announces it more than a week in advance. I guess because they figure people are going to be... They're going to see it and they're going to sign up and they're going to forget about it if it's two weeks in advance. Not an unfair statement. It does seem to happen. But at the same time, it means that I can't really tell you when the tournament's happening a week in advance. Because that's my most recent cast that people are going to watch is usually the Saturday one. Which means they're going to watch the week before the tournament, which might be next week. I don't know. That's apparently when it's going to be. But yeah, Flipstep doing some nice raiding, tearing apart Snuggle Base's territories. So Snuggle Base went from having pretty much the entire map. And now Flipstep sending in a rebuild force too. Snuggle Base's commander having been pushed back into the center, and able to rebuild their old base. So Flips have actually able to take this back, and Snuggle Base is not rebuilding their old base. Why are they not rebuilding their old base? There's no threat! They're building Razors first because they're really paranoid, but yeah, they're not rebuilding their old base. They are able to reclaim a fair amount, but still. That's all they have, and why is the Shieldbot Factory not building anything? Snuggle Base, you... You have a Shieldbot Factory. You have a factory. You might want to use it. Especially when you have resources to work. Actually, some resources to work from. But yeah, it looks like they're not even bothering. They just want this razor done. They want the economy done. They want to get this all rebuilt ASAP. But as it is, I don't know. Flipstep might be able to turn this around. It was just this... The factory... Just, the fact that the factory explosion killed the glaives was a bad thing. But the fact that the commander explosion killed the glaives... That comm burst. That comm burst pretty much gave Flipstep the opening for the glaives... To, for the rapiers to go in. Because if those glaives had not died, like only one or two glaives had died in that, they would have been able to retreat and tear apart all of the rapiers. Like in those numbers, yeah, the rapiers one-shot them, but there still would have been a dozen glaives after the fact. Like after the entire salvo happened, that would have been enough glaives. But no, they all died here, and that's pretty much what allowed Flipstep to turn around. That's why I call it Calm Burst. Because the way it works sometimes, it's like it breaks you out of getting that much pressure. Sometimes it just breaks the pressure and allows it to reset to neutral, as it just did. And also because I can't help but reference Guilty Gear terminology when talking about anything, because that game... that game's in my head a lot, all the time. Which is funny, because I haven't played it much. I got, I got Plus R on Steam, but I have not played it as much as Skullgirls, because I've been practicing Skullgirls because... well, mainly Skullgirls has better netcode. <laughs> Apparently there's going to be a nice rollback thing for Guilty Gear, but that's just beside the point. I might talk about that when I'm talking when there's a game going on that's actually very exciting. 
So we have shield versus shield at this point, which is not what I expected at the start of the game. Although, Badlands, Badlands is a map where shields are often used. It's one of the more popular maps for shields, and Flipstip and Snuggle Base have pretty much rebuilt. I mean, the game pretty much reset to neutral and rebuilt. Snuggle Base does have the center position with these with this factor, which is quite nice. But at the same time, the Felon will be a bit of a pain. The Thug should help dealing with that, though. The Thug should actually help quite a lot. Yeah, so you can see it just eats the shields. And the Thug shields go down, and now the Bandits can just have a field day. Which is exactly what they want to do. And that Felon will go down very quickly. So Snuggle Base, I'd say, st I'd say still has a slight advantage. Mostly because this battle went actually poorly. Never mind, what? What the heck? No, those bandits all died. That was really hard to tell what was going on. Oops. Yeah, the minimap goes transparent when you zoom out. Mostly because it doesn't matter on this map, but on wider maps, it could get in the way otherwise. So yeah, when it zooms out, it goes transparent. You can still click on it, though. It doesn't go fully invisible. That, I believe, is an option, or at least was an option. But yeah. That's the thing. Sorry, people phoning out in chat. So, Jump Bot Factory. Okay, so the game is starting all over again, except with additional factories off to the side. Is there a Cloaky Factory in here? No, there isn't. So, Snuggle Base continuing to go for the center. Snuggle Base has not been building a lot of factories. Like, Flipstep, we've seen... Well, this game particularly, that Flipstep has been building a lot of factories. Well, Snuggle Base just wants to stick to the one. And Shield versus Shield Jump Gunship. Well, mostly Shield Gunship. I'm oh, sorry, Shield Jump, sorry. Shield Jump. A little bit tricky. The Vandals are... Are they dead? No, they're not dead. The Vandals are very much alive. They're just in the main base. And that Felon is being a real problem. There isn't... A, is there anything really can be done? I mean, I guess the Outlaw is not a bad idea, but I don't think there's much that Shield has that's going to completely destroy a Felon. It's kind of a slog to try to get rid of them with Cloaky Bots. I'm a little surprised that Snuggle Base hasn't gone for... A, sorry, not Cloaky. Shield. Cloaky has Sharpshooters. Cloaky doesn't have that problem. I'm talking about shield. Shield, I'm not sure what to do in this situation other than just slog it out and try to get, hope for the best. And this is... <sighs> this is going to be an issue. I mean, I don't see how Snuggle Base is going to get out of this. This... I mean, I, here I thought Flipstep was going to lose, and now Snuggle Base, they're losing their main, their new factory, and they haven't built a new one. They've been very reluctant to build additional factories, and I think that's something that's allowed Flipstep to get out of this. For one thing, they had redundancy over here. They didn't have to build this factory from scratch. And for another thing, and against this shield ball, shield, I guess they have rogues, that would work okay, but there's even rogues in the ball. Like, getting rid of that shield ball is just going to be a hard thing to do for shield ball for nothing. Snuggle Base has no factory. I'm not even sure why it shows the factory anymore. Oh, that's why. Because it's a new one. Go for a new Shieldbot factory. Okay, that's... why? At this point, Flipstep is just going to be grinding through, but probably able to destroy Snuggle Base's base. Snuggle Base getting pretty paranoid, setting up defensers everywhere. And Flipstep just really needs to have one thing. They're setting up a jack, which... Basically, just tear through this whole. Probably gonna tear through the northwest. Maybe try to get rid of the factory and get rid of the commander. But the main shield ball, able to rip this apart. Nice brawler support, too. But yeah, the main shield ball will have no problems tearing apart this here. And Snuggle Base throws in the towel, snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. And. Okay, Google Frog, you were wrong. There's still an issue with the wind counter. That's gotta be fixed. I think there's an engine problem or something. Unless this was an old. Wait, no, no, no. Never mind, never mind, never mind. No, sorry, my mistake, my mistake. This is actually played with 1363. I probably should have grabbed the new wind counter and put that in. I'm going to do that after this game. So stay tuned. We'll have, at this point, Google Frog versus Gorda. These were all kind of older games that I meant to do before, but couldn't get to. Yeah, sorry about that. The wind counter screw up. That's nothing new. Don't worry, Google Frog. The wind counter is fine. The wind counter is probably fine. Test it for the next game, but yeah. Stay tuned. That'll be up in just a moment.